Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If For those that don't know me, my name is Vanessa. I'm an eBay reseller and I sell basically stuff on eBay for profit. I am now sharing my journey here on YouTube. So if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And yeah, so today's video, I just want to kind of share with you how I pack my items. Honestly, I have had very few sales for the last uh, week. I probably have sold only five items. It could be worse, so I'm quite grateful for what has sold anyway. So um, I think yes, yeah. Yesterday I had two items that sold, and I was thinking of the kind of content I should probably, you know, put out, as I'm obviously running out of things to do at the moment. So I thought I could just show you how I pack my items, and yeah, it's gonna be a very quick video. To be honest, it's quite simple. Like because it's clothing, it's really simple. But I thought I should just show you anyway. So obviously, if you're new to this and you don't really know how to do that, I'll just show you what I do for now. And it's quite simple. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. So the two items I have sold are these, this pair, uh, pair of black jeans. I actually bought it for two pounds at a car boot sale, and I have sold it for. 19 pounds including postage and this i actually also got it for a cupboard sale at two pounds and i've sold it for 15 pounds including posting so yeah it's not really bad sales so i'm quite grateful that they've actually sold so i'm gonna just quickly show you how i pack them they should be very simple to pack and very quick so yeah let's get straight into that so as i'm shipping clothing i normally use one of these poly bags and it depends of course i have different sizes so the smallest one is this one in the middle and then i have this size as well and i've got the bigger one but the biggest one is this one which i use normally for obviously larger items like jackets or coats and it does really fit well but normally i go for the small or the medium size depending on the kind of clothing that i have since i have a pair of jeans i uh, will be i've folded it in a way that it's very easy to pack and it can actually fit the smaller size i will be showing you how i fold it as it's very simple and quick and as i have this nice corset that needs to be packed it should really fit one of these but because it's got this material inside which is hard i will be using a bigger one just so you know it reaches the customer in very well condition i bought these bags in bulk i think i got them for uh, two pounds uh, for 50 of them on ebay which is really good these ones are more on the expensive side i got them from tesco however they're actually really strong i wouldn't advise people to get them in tesco though because it's quite expensive especially if you're an ebay reseller might as well go on ebay and find maybe stronger versions of these and uh, if you're buying them in bulk it will be way cheaper for you so yeah let's get started with the packing first to fold this jeans in a way that is very simple these are size 12 jeans so they're not very big and they should be simple to fold so what i normally do i just normally fold them like this and then refold them again so to look like this and basically just bring everything together like that like this and like that so it should be very small very simple and yeah like i said i'm not gonna use any more protection because i think these are very strong so i'll just slide it in slide it in and yeah ready to be shipped you have to do is just take off the sticker and I guess stick it on and yeah ready to ship to be shipped so of course what I normally do I just put a look a bit more to salt, salt tape there to obviously protect it even more and if you have one of those printers that you can use to print off the label it should be easy print it off with eBay and just stick it on but as I don't have it <laughs> I don't have it so I just write on a paper and use salt tape and stick it on yeah stick on the customer's uh, address 
basically that's it very simple and very easy and with this the same thing because i don't want to overfold it honestly i don't see any other way that i can do this let me see let me try and see actually because this should really fit in the smaller one because i think that is too big No. I mean, I can force it in, but no. I would prefer it to be a bit safer than that. So, yes, I guess I'm going to go for the bigger one. I don't have any other way to fold it, but to put it upright like that. Same thing. I just take off the sticker and just put it like that and then put extra salt tape for protection there's so much room in here but honestly i can fold it like this and put more salt tape and then just put the label on top and yeah it's all good to go so yeah so i guess that's all i have for today that's how i pack my items for shipping and that's it that's all about it if i Obviously, I still, you know, want to learn a few tricks. I want to kind of like find a way to make things more efficient. But as for now, that's how I do it. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, please take care. Bye.